And what's interesting this year is the utter diversity of the fencers and wrestlers make it, making it into the upper level of competition. This used to be an event dominated by the Nordics, but no longer. Ladies and gentlemen, we head into Sabre. This fight will be for the Next, third place for the Bronx. Sabre finals. In the blue corner, from the White Company Russia, Sergei Volkov. You recognize Mr. Volkov earlier from the Rapier final. An excellent Sabre fencer. In the red corner, from Stockholm Stigman, Sweden, Christopher Stanson. Christopher Stanson, hard, very experienced competitor, hard-boiled hard veteran, one of the best out there. Rapier fencer, rapier and dagger fencer, saber fencer, he does it all. I crossed swords with him in the rapier and dagger competition. I have a nice bruise on my leg from him. Christopher Stanson from Sweden versus Volko in blue from Russia. Fences feeling each other out. Looks Attempted like a thrust, thrust underneath by Volko. by Volkov to the chest. Did it land? Uh, not entirely sure. Judges might have scored saw. that as a as thrust to the arm, maybe. Yeah, perhaps. Hard to tell. Looked like a thrust to the to the head, parries. Cut, parry, cut, and a, a, the repose parried as well. Volkov seems to like these thrusts to the torso. Well, what Stanson is really clever is, is tricking Another you thrust into... thrust to the torso and he, a cut around. He tricks you into range. He, uh, using his footwork, he creates the illusion that he's a lot further away than he is and then uh, strikes you as out of nothing. It looks like closing that was the distance. So there was no clear exchange. Beautiful thrust by Stanson, but it also looked like there was a cut from Volkov. We'll see what looks like it was a cut to the arm by Volkov on the way in. Stanson thrusting to the body, but. Uh, Point didn't reach the target. Volko countering. But very explosive. Counter by Volkov. Parry strike to the body, earning him one point. Putting Volkov three to zero in the first round. Fighting for bronze. Thrust by Stanson. Cuts round. Strike the head. Looked like a Parry cut, cut, to, cut the flank to the midsection Volkov. of Volkov. Earning Stanson two points and Volkov one point. That is deductive. That gives uh, Stanson one point. Volkov zero. Thrust by Volkov. Rushing in there as you saw him doing the rape here. Costing him two points. Missed. Stanson countered. Strike to the head. Volkov beginning to become frustrated. Rushing in. Well, he shouldn't be frustrated. They're, uh, they're, they're at a tie. But you see him loading up, going to impatient. rush in. Impatient indeed. Strike. Looks Strike like to the leg by Stanson. Leg. Then cut to the head. Let's we'll see if the judges... I guess the judges thought it's that was out of time. Very difficult to figure out. It's no, I, think it was, I think they thought it was out of time as an after blow. It's uh, very difficult to figure out Stanson's distance is excellent distant management Stanson has a tendency to pull that back arm that arm back for a thrust dangerous a bit gives a tempo well what Volkov. he does to give a tempo is that he if you look at his left arm it always waves up and down like a clock tick tock tick tock you see that in rapier yeah. as well that can and in rapier with a dagger you can time it that was uh, a downfall from last year Cut to the leg by Stanson, counter thrust by Volkov to the throat. 
Looks like the judges did not see that though. That's the end of the first round. Right. Uh, tight slight fight, lead. slight lead for Mr. Stanson, but in no way is he safe. So the interesting thing, the interesting thing about saber fencing is every one of our countries has a tradition of military saber fencing. There are Swedish saber fencing manuals. There are Russian saber fencing manuals. The Russians in particular were known for test cutting where they would cut clay and straw targets with the saber and their strong Cossack tradition. You have for every other country and not just in Europe, there are saber manuals from Japan when, when uh, they adopted Western sabers uh, in, the, in the late 19th century. So pretty much any country you come from in Europe and many outside of Europe, you can find military saber manuals. Truly an international style. Round two, and I wonder what Mr. Volkov's coach told him during that interval. Will he keep rushing in? Will he figure out the distance of Stanson? He needs to do something different, clearly. Parry, strike to that by Stanson. Yep. Counter by Volkov, but was it in time? Judges see it's that. Right. Off the blow by Volkov. It's interesting to see Stanson using this parry in second against... Uh, Thrust and counter thrust, essentially a double hit. Parry. Beautiful parry oh, repose by, by Stanson. Stanson. Very nice. It looked like that was a preem parry, followed by a repose with a cut, landing on the head. His lead is up to seven over three. Strike low by Stanson. He has a very, he has very diverse target. So you don't know if he's going to hit you low or high. Cut he's going to thrust, a, cut to the hand. That was a cut he to the leg and a cut to the hand by Volkov in return. Strike. Thrust by Volkov, it's, strike to the head by It's Stanson. interesting. Stanson seems like he's reaching out and almost pairing with his hand some of these, uh, some of these thrusts by uh, Volkov. You see his hand out there in front. Yeah. It's very interesting and unusual for a saber fencer, yeah. frankly, to have your hand out. Oh, it's a nice cut to the head, it looked to me. Just but as you said that, he, you saw him grab Volkov's blade there, right. tossing it aside. It's an interesting... Uh, Grabbing of the blade is loud in a controlled fashion. Yeah. That looked like a cut to the head by Volkov running past. Judges saw it that way too. That should be two points, so five to seven. Five to seven is our score, although it's not showing on the live screen for some reason. Not yet, a bit of a time lag. Another point for Volkov, so we are at six to seven. Almost at a draw. Will this be a sudden death? Volkov. Will Volkov pull through? Will he figure Stanson out? Cut by Stanson. Volkov is being uncharacteristically, I won't say tame, rush, has been. thrust. But now he's, uh, he's changing his game and starting to rush in, which is what you normally see from Volkov, this freight train approach. Thrust by Volkov, stands and counter thrusts. Lost exchange. Volkov Six, needs to land. A, a convincing hit. Rushing in, jumps out. That looked like it was... Uh, I thought that was a point for each, but the judges apparently see that for Volkov. We have point a tied score. Blue. We have a tied score with seven to seven. Volkov doing a fine job of turning the tables on Christopher Stanson by becoming aggressive, changing his tactic. It's what I always say. If what you're doing is not working, change your tactics. And that's, this is a man who did that and has turned the fight around. That's when a good coach will help you. He, knows, he is now within a hair's breadth of victory. Oh, beautiful thrust. thrust. Stanson slips. 
Did it land? Was there enough for a counter? It looks like one point for Volkov. Point, ladies and gentlemen, for Volkov, our winner! <laughs> Rushing in in the end there, running aside, Stanson slipping. Interesting, interesting match. Stanson having a, a pretty good lead for the first half of that. Volkov changing his tactics to come around at the very last moment. A win on this stage against somebody like Stanson is a, a, a true statement about Russian saber fencing. Who also has a substantial height advantage, I would say. Absolutely, and yeah, weight advantage. Another victory for Mother Russia.